In this example, we have a candy company that has 150 kilograms of chocolate-covered nuts, 90 kilograms of chocolate-covered raisins, and they want to mix these together and sell them, you know, sell these two different mixes. Uh, one of these mixes contains half nuts and half raisins and will sell for $7 a pound. Uh, the other half, uh, the other mix will, contains three quarters nuts and one quarter raisins and will sell for a certain amount per pound. How many kilograms of each mix should the company prepare in order to maximize revenue? And then what is that maximum revenue? So, um, in order to approach this, I want to figure out, well, I first need to give some names to my variables. I need to decide what I'm going to be giving them to. I wouldn't want to say the amount of chocolate covered nuts is a variable here. I, I think a lot of people have that tendency. The reason I wouldn't want to say the number of chocolate covered nuts used is because that's not really something that's being asked for. That's something that's directly being limited, but you know we, we can't figure out how much of each mix is used if we just know the number of nuts. So instead, I would say x is the amount of mix 1, and y would be the amount of mix 2. Your first step in order to succeed on these is definitely making sure you name your variables in a way that's helpful. Um, so, you know, you do need to do that. Um, next, I need to come up with any constraints. I need to read through this and say, okay, what kind of restrictions are there? Well, there's at most 150 kilograms of chocolate-covered nuts that can be used. In both of these two mixes, I cannot exceed that uh, 150 kilograms. So for my constraints, I'm first going to say the amount of nuts. Um, and the total amount of nuts that are used need to be less than or equal to 150. We're constrained to at most 150 kilograms. Um, now let's figure out how much of, of each of these we're using. When I say x is mix 1, really what I meant here is this is the number of kilograms. Um, that's kind of the only thing that makes sense here. There wasn't, you know, we wouldn't want the total dollar value of mix 1. Um, we would want how many kilograms of each mix. Um, that's actually what's being asked for here, and that's kind of one of the ways you can tell. Um, oftentimes, these you're being asked for exactly what the variable should be. So the, the, amount, the number of kilograms of mix 1 is x. If we're trying to figure out the amount of, of nuts that are used in, in this first mix, well, it's, um, it's half nuts and half raisins. So if we make, let's say, 10 kilograms of this first mix, then that means 5 of those kilograms were nuts. It's half of this, half the weight. So in general, half of x is going to be the amount of nuts we used for that first one. Um, the other mix contains 3 quarter nuts. 3 quarters of it is nuts. And if we make y kilograms of this other one, then that means 3 quarters of y is going to be nuts. So 1 half x plus 3, ha 3 quarters y should be less than or equal to 150. And then we have another constraint here, the number of raisins. Um, let's see, the first mix is half raisins, so 1 half x. The second mix is 1 quarter raisins, 1 quarter y. And we have, at most, 90 kilograms of raisins to work with. My last constraints here is I cannot make a negative amount of mix 1, and I can't make a negative amount of mix 2. All right, um, let's go ahead and graph these things. Well, I guess in order to graph them, I need to come up with some, <coughs> some intercepts here. If, uh, if my x-coordinate is 0, I get 3 quarters y. If that one goes away, I get 3 quarters y equals 150. And to get rid of that 3 quarters, I apologize, my cat just jumped into my lap. Um, let's see, we get 150. Go away, I'm recording. Uh, times 4 divided by 3. I'm just multiplying by 4 thirds here. That's the same thing as dividing by 3 fourths. So when I do that, I get y equals 200. So that's the point 0, 200. And uh, if y is 0, that part goes away. I get 1 half x equals 150. Multiply both sides by 2, I get x equals 300. Oops. So that's the point 300, 0. Um, those are my intercepts there. Um, and if I test the origin here, if I don't make any of either mix, I'm not going to overuse my, you know, the, the amount of nuts is not going to be a problem. So this actually um, 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 150 is true. 
we would shade toward the origin here. Um, on this one, let's see, we have if x is 0, if that one goes away, I would get y is 360. Multiply both sides by 4, that's what I did there. And if y is 0, if that one goes away, multiply both sides by 2, I get y equals, or x equals 180. All right, so it looks like my numbers, I'm going to go up to 400. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 400. 1, 2, 3, 400. All right, now I'll go ahead and graph my inequal or graph my boundary lines. 0, 200 is right here, and 300, 0 is over here. So when I graph that line, it'll be about there. This is line 1, and we'll shade toward the origin. For this second line, I didn't do my test. 0, 0. Of course, we're not using... Um, the, the same sort of thing happens here. 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 90 is a true statement, so we'll shade toward the origin on this one. Um, so 0, 360. Um, let's see, 300 is there, 350 is there, a little bit higher than that, 360. 180, 0 is going to be approximately here. And so that line looks something like this. That's line 2, and again we'll shade toward the origin. So our feasible region looks like this. And again, we end up with four corner points. Our four corner points, let me change colors here, are one, two, three, four. So I'll start off zero, zero, that one's easy. Then I'll jump up to this one. Uh, this is, it looks like the y-intercept of line one. So let me refer back to my work. The y-intercept of line one is the point zero, 200. Okay. Uh, this one right here is at the intersections of lines 1 and 2. So I'm going to, because it's not immediately evident uh, what, that, what number that should be, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my calculator, open up a matrix, go to edit. This is a 2 by 3 matrix, because I'm looking at the, inter the um, I'm saying the system of e equations 1 half x plus 3 fourths y equals 150 and 1 half x plus 1 fourth y equals 90. I'm looking at the intersection of those two lines, so that's why that's the system of equations I'm using. So 0.5, I said 0.5, no, dang it, 0.5, there we go. Uh, 3 fourths, I guess I could type in 0.75, whatever. 150, 1 half, 1 fourth, Oops, I didn't hit a 4 before I pressed enter, so I have to go back in here. Um, let's see, where was I? Right here, 1 fourth, and then 90. All right, now I'll run RREF on that matrix. So I'll go over to the math menu, up to RREF, and run it on matrix A. That's the point 120, 120. And then the last, the fourth corner point is this one right here. It's the x-intercept of line 2, which is the point 180, 0. All right, those are my four corner points. I haven't gotten to it yet, but I do need to fi figure out what my uh, obje objective function is here. The objective function is your objective. It's the thing you're trying to minimize or maximize. Uh, we're trying to maximize revenue here, and you can see revenue uh, you can get by figuring out how much of each of these you're selling. Uh, this first mix we're selling for $7 per pound, and the, sex this is the second mix we're selling for nine fifty a pound. So 7x plus 9.5y, this is my objective function, that's z. So that's what I'll do down here. 7x plus 9.5y. Of course, 0 plus 0 is 0. If I don't make any of either mix, I don't make any revenue. That's not really a surprise. Um, let's see, 9.5 times 200 is 1,900. 7 times 120 plus 9.5 times 120 is 1980. 
So I'm, what I'm doing there is I'm just plugging in 120 for x and 120 for y. So 7 times 120 plus 9.5 times 120. Uh, and then similarly, 7 times 180 for this last point plus, well, 0. So I'll just do 7 times 180, which is 1260. So the maximum revenue is achieved here. It's when we make, it's the, uh, it's that corner point there. So when we make 120 kilograms of both, uh, of mix one and 120 kilograms of mix two. Um, as the follow-up question here, what is the maximum revenue? Max revenue of $1,980 when 120 kilograms of each are made.